Welcome back everyone, my name is Ben, your host. So Apple recently released new firmware updates for the AirPods Pro 2. These can be with Lightning or with USB-C. These are the USB-C variant that you see right here. And if you have the AirPods 4 with noise cancellation or without noise cancellation, you also get a firmware update. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the firmware update itself and how you can update your AirPods to the latest firmware itself. Now, in order to know what's the current latest version of firmware updates your AirPods are supposed to be on, there's a publicly available page that's called um, about firmware updates for airports and when you visit this page right here it will show you the latest firmware version so airports pro 2 with magsafe charging case usb-c you can see the version that they are supposed to be on and if you have the lightning you can see and the other associated airports models and these are the current latest versions and that's how you know which version you can be on or you are supposed to be on and if you want to know which version your airports are currently on it's actually pretty simple just make sure your airports are connected and then if you go into your settings you notice just below your profile right there you see your airports will show up if they don't show up you can always go into your bluetooth settings and then go to the airport section and under the bottom section right there you'll notice the about section we have the information for the airports pro so these ones you can see the version if i click on it it shows me the version of the airports you can see 7b21 and the case version is 71.8.08 and the version that you see right there is the current latest firmware because if we go back to this page that talks about the airpods versions 7b21 is the latest version for the airpods pro 2 with USB-C, which are these ones that you see right there so we are up to date and i actually didn't have to force update my airpods they updated in the background but just in case you want to know how you can update your airpods the process itself is pretty simple so in order for you to update your airpods this is what you do the first thing you do is just make sure your airpods connect to your iphone i usually give it a few seconds until the green light indicator you see right there disappear just to make sure they are fully connected it's not necessary but it's just something i've been using doing and it becomes routine and you can see once the light goes off i close this and then what i can do is lay the airpods besides my iphone like this sometimes i close the case sometimes i don't and irregardless of whatever i do it always works and one thing I advise you do is to make sure your AirPods are charged above 50%. Typically, I just charge mine to 100% most of the times, both the AirPods and the case itself. So you can see my percentage right there. It's actually pretty good. So that's one of the first things that I do and, and I recommend doing. And then just lay your AirPods down like this. You can close the case or you can leave it open like I'm doing right now. It doesn't really seem to affect the update process. And after about five minutes, usually the airpods firmware version updates in the background and you don't have to do much now if this method doesn't work which is usually pretty straightforward it's the method that i use all the time if this doesn't work then you can follow method number two which is to bring your airpods close to your iphone open up your airpods just wait a few seconds you know for it to fully connect and wait for the light to turn off this green light indicator and once this green light indicator turns off then you can basically use your airpods by taking out one of one of your airpods right here and listen to music for about you know a couple seconds maybe 15 to 30 seconds and then put it back take the other airport out and listen to music for about another 15 to 30 seconds you might want to also remove both airports out of the case and use your iphone or play music using spotify using apple music it doesn't really seem to matter or even listen to a specific podcast of your choice and you can listen for about a minute once connectivity has been established and you've realized that they are working good that's something that's great and now you can put them back just like i did like this and lay them down close to your phone whether you close the case or not that's entirely up to you and in most cases 
this will typically fix the issue of them failing to update now that's with updating using the iPhone. If you want to update your AirPods using the Mac, then you can easily do that. Just bring your AirPods close to your Mac and then open up the case on the AirPods. Usually there'll be a pop-up on the Mac that shows that it's automatically connected. And if you have a battery widget on your Mac OS, it's going to show the battery of the pods themselves and the battery of the case showing that they are connected. And after that, you can just lay them down close to your Mac or if it's a MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, just lay them down and usually they update in the process. The good thing about the Mac as well is that you can also connect them and charge them at the same time while they are updating in the background, which is something that's good. So that's how I usually update my AirPods. The first method that I highlighted of just leaving your AirPods laying close to your iPhone once connection has been established, most of the times works. Now, like I said, when Apple releases AirPods like this, you can see they also released release notes. And for this version that we are on for the AirPods Pro 2 with USB-C, it's the same version with the version of AirPods that uses Lightning. You can see 7B21, 7B21. The release notes right here mention that bug fixes and other improvements. So Apple doesn't really mention much, at least for this version. You can see for the previous version, 7B19, which is the one that I was on, Apple fixed a lot of stuff and they actually told us about it, which is something that's good. It will be good, you know, from Apple's side to tell us what those bugs that have been fixed or those other improvements are. But as of now, this is what Apple has mentioned in the release notes for this version that I'm on. Now, for my research, what I've been able to find is that one of the things that this update fixes or improves on is the noise cancellation and it's been slightly improved, which is good. And I don't know, I couldn't record this for you because I don't know how long it took, but apparently it seems to have improved the update time. So instead of waiting for the AirPods to update for like 15 or 20 minutes, which used to be the old standard time that it would take. If you watch my old AirPods video, you might realize that I used to say, you know, lay them down for about 10 to 20 minutes, which is the time it used to take. But with this version, hopefully going forward, it stays. It seems like the average update time has been reduced to about five or six minutes, which is welcome and is something that's good. And also if you update to this latest AirPod version and you were having an issue with it displaying the battery widget information on macOS, that issue for me has been received or has been resolved rather. And my battery information shows up on macOS and the widget, which is something that's good. Something also that has been fixed if you are using AirPods Pro 2 is the fact that if you're using conversation awareness and someone talks to you or you try to talk, there was going to be audio issues. Well, previously there were audio issues that would make the audio or the music you are listening to start to cut out after a few seconds. It would almost become unusable and that issue has been fixed, which is something that's great. And I was curious to see if, cause I'm in Canada right now, I was curious to see if this is the version that's going to bring the healing loss test. But you can see here, we have just one, ver one feature available. This is hearing protection and I still can do the, uh, you know, hearing fit test right there. And then I can go and read about hearing protection and it tells you all what you need, but not the latest new feature is not yet available where you can do hearing loss tests on the AirPods Pro 2. So in Canada, this one is region specific. I know certain states in the US actually have it, but in Canada, this is not the version, at least for me, that brings this to the AirPods Pro 2 with USB-C that I'm using. So basically, that's just a quick update for you with the AirPods Pro 2 USB-C with the latest firmware version. That's how you update and that's basically what's changed. This is how you update and yeah, just make sure you're on the latest version and enjoy the update. My name is Ben and I'm signing off. Peace.